Father. The 65th coronation anniversary of the OB of our kingdom, Emmanuel Efizomo II, at the Owa Palace, Owoibo, a kind of his local government area of Delta State, was celebrated in a grand style. The arrival of some dignitaries at the event was with a beat of some drama. A blessing to our beloved Reverend Father, His Royal Majesty and his family. The grand entrance of the celebrant Ephesomo II into the arena of the celebration in company of royal fathers from across the state and environ, as well as other dignitaries, set the mood for the event. <laughs> We are welcome the very royal personages here. I can see one of the tallest, the very OB of people the kingdom is right there with us. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And every other one I've not been able to introduce. I appreciate it. The chairman of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council and Oroje of Ope, Major General Felix Mujabero retired or read the first in praying over the colonel spoke words of blessings. As we are celebrating today, those no. of us who are taught to celebrate with you, who we'll celebrate longer no. years on the throne in Jesus' name. No. As we have honored you, people will also honor us for a long reign in our throne. God will bless you better kingdom. As we are going to prosper in your time, we are going to prosper. We will enjoy your children. The Oroja of Ope, in his speech, lauded Obiefizomo II for his contributions to the growth of the society.
as long as we have a Katina Rona in the state, we saw the most vicious rain created by several socio-political conditions. So, Kafoma is indeed the leading person in the case of the past order of our Katina institution and its law. You have been with me that it takes the man of their business to be able to manage this way through the various of teachings that can arrive in the general general of government over this long period. We come from what is the end of our generation. It's a nature of leader. It is a royal father of the price of education, new and social development. The cookers of this uncommon salary of the position. The same platform is the vast region of Katina Mara and transform our work into a pocket of the people. The government of the state structure that is created as dead people in the direction that every people respect far from work. The revived Mobilized and supported several community organizations in Joe, including the Patriotic Union, our Development Committee, our Youth Association, voting for the Community Development Committee. They have authored several books and have given active support to the establishment of Canada's protection of our youth and the historic principles of the community. On the 10th of March this year, it is a general party that is celebrating 65 promotion advances on behalf of the public, the good people of Open Kingdom, and the entire members of the Catholic National Bank Council, and wish him more fruitful years of the truth. The government will grant the wisdom, strength, and mobility to protect the affairs of our people, Catholic State, and Nigeria as a whole. The Bishop of Ika Diocese Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, Right Reverend Godfrey Ekbenisi, in a message titled Leadership Skills Required for the Generation We Are In, harped on the importance of visionary leadership, after which he led prayers for the celebrant, Obiefizamo II. In another 50 years, 50% of the persons staying here, seated or standing, will no longer be alive. And another 100 years, all of us here may have been gone. Have you ever thought and asked yourself how the world will be in another 100 years? We have a generation of young people today and in many quarters, they have been referred to as the Generation Z. Talking about people born between 1997 and the year 25. What kind of leadership should we indeed give to them? We also have a growing generation referred to as the Generation Alpha. These are young people that are coming up born between the year 2013 and the year 2025. These are the generation referred to as generation alpha. With a culture of innovation and creativity. Whether you are a top leader, you are a traditional leader, you are a political leader, when you lead your people with that vision, your people and your kingdom and your church, and your state, and your nation will perish. And there's no, there's, there's no approach about that. That's how it works. Today we have a country, and I will be, be good to ask you how much progress we are making as a country. Without vision, Nigeria will be in problem. Without vision, your family will be in problem. Without moving with the times and innovation, you will crank your people into pieces. So I ask as a leader, what is your vision for your people in the next five, six, seven years? As far as I have been on the throne for 65 years, came into the throne at 21, and today is 86. 
Age is not a barrier. I know he has vision for our nation. But then, add more to what you have as long as God gives you life. Number two, a leadership that seeks to develop and grow. There are three kinds of intelligence that are important that we grow in our family, in our nation, in our states, in our traditional sector. Number one, a leadership that seeks to grow intelligent projects that as we consider the leadership of our father for 65 years, the leadership you present in your home should be the one that encourages intelligence, that encourages emotional balance. We should have children and young people who study and are intelligent. Some dignitaries bent down their wishes even as gifts were presented to Obi Fizomo II. The the, the celebration it calls for reflection on the part of everybody. If you serve humanity very well, if you serve uh, your kingdom very well, you'll be celebrated, and that is what we are witnessing here today. Uh, Obi Opowa is a monumental success. That is the testimony of the people that gathered here today. My words for him is a kind of congratulatory word on his updoing. If he was not doing well, we wouldn't have been here. There are, there are some that are more aged than him, but they are not, they've not shown their words. But he himself, he has shown his words and we're in love with him, and incidentally, he's our uh, traditional rulers forum council chairman. Yes, that's the Delta North traditional rulers forum chairman. I wish him a very long life. I wish that this is just half of his reign. That is, he's to reign more 65 years, making it 130, 130 years. I believe in the, the leadership style of His Majesty the Obi of our kingdom. He has uh, shown so many firsts in, uh, in uh, certain areas. He has been very supportive. He has been a father yeah, to our people. And uh, during his reign, in his reign, Owa has experienced uh, so much, so much grace, so much promotion, so much success. And we are very proud of His Majesty. Every single our man is proud of His Majesty, the Obi of our kingdom. The extent of the things that His Majesty did is that His Majesty abolished the custom that excludes women from inheriting their parents, particularly their father. That's the most recent. And by that abolishment, that permitted women to inherit their parents. And if you go around our kingdom, the women are celebrating that particular gesture. It has not been like that in the, from the inception, from the inception and creation of our kingdom. It was in his reign that he decided that it would be very unfair to women by excluding them from their inheritance. And for me, that is in line with the law of the, federal, of the 1999 constitution. Because the constitution of, Nigeria, of Nigeria has told us that nobody should be discriminated upon by sex, by marriage, by occupation, by any standard. Nobody, no Nigerian should be discriminated upon. So if you look at that, you begin to appreciate the mind of His Majesty. You begin to appreciate the knowledge of His Majesty. You begin to appreciate His Majesty's intention to catch up with the future as far as the world is concerned. So we are celebrating that and we are hopeful that His Majesty will bring forth more development, more abolishment, and more growth as it goes along in his reign as the king of our kingdom. It would be nice to document the custom, but you really can't document all the customs because the, His Majesty the Obo of Owa, by law, he is the custom, the embodiment of the custom of our kingdom. Whatever he says becomes a custom of our kingdom. So if you want to begin a documentation process, you'll be exposing yourself to amendment every time. So what happens is this, that's why it is necessary that we keep having 
people around. Once the custom is amended or the custom is confusing, you fall back to the palace and get the correct custom to apply. So that we don't have a situation where you begin to amend and amend and amend and amend. Because after His Majesty, by the grace of God, or I will produce more kings. And those kings will also see areas that they think they need to amend. So all over the world, customs are not documented. Even in Britain, customs are not documented. But we have a way of knowing what our customs are. And the gods also help us to know what our customs are. It's the first time of attending such a, a program, very glamorous program, for a monarch, a king that has been there for 65, 65 years. It's not a joke. It's not 65 days, not 65 months. I want to say that um, I just got closely to the king some years ago when, they were, when the command school came. That was us still relating with him. And I saw him as embodiment of integrity, embodiment of wisdom, embodiment of empathy, embodiment of justice. And I also want to say that um, when Imbiri has some crisis, I know the role he played in Imbiri Kingdom. And I was also involved. And he pursued the whole thing to the end. So I'm saying that, well, let me use his word. The Obi of Owa is the sincerity of, of Owa. And I pray that he will live long to continue to impart the kingdom, uh, Delta State, and even Nigeria. The celebrant had this to say. Well, I thank God. I thank God. I, I, I thank God. I feel good. I feel happy. And I thank God. Okay. Because uh, if, for, if not for God, there's nothing I've not been able to do. Every achievement is God. So I appreciate God. And I thank those who made it possible for me to rise to this level. Those who contributed, those who gave me peace of mind to be able to serve my people and serve my God. So I thank God. My appeal to them is to take life easy. They should take life easy. The desire to acquire everything one day, the craze for money, the craze for enjoyment, they should, they should step it down. The life should be done step by step, one thing after the other. They should not just rush after life. They should take it easy. Young people now, they should be, uh, they should take it easy. There's no point wanting to be a uh, march on one day. Once you say this uh, step, up step and jump exercise, it's not very good for young people. It is not even good for, uh, for any generation. So people should be, to take life easy, take it step by step, one thing after the other. They should learn, our people should learn to be their brother's keeper. They should be, they should be patient when they were, when falling into difficulties. Life can never be a bed of all roses. You see, there must be problem as, there, uh, as you have the day, so you must have the night. If you have night, you must have the day. Nothing is in perpetuity. So people should learn to be careful. People should learn to be patient. You see, one thing after the other. Leadership has been the same all over, but the problem is followership, both followership and leadership. Followership has its own problem. Leadership has its own problem. If you teach a wrong course, you get a wrong result. If you teach a wrong people, you get a wrong result. So the issue is that people should learn to marry ideas. They should be patient with one another. Because when people are not patient, they want to, even when the leaders, the leaders are too much in a hurry, too much in a hurry, step by step, take for instance, you are building a road. You don't open up a road today, tie it today, put a bridge today, everything today. No, you space it too far. One, you know, little by little, you can get things properly done. You see, for the leaders of today, uh, I, for the leaders of today, I have asked them to slow down. Slow down. So many things have gone wrong. So you cannot get it by way of emergency. You can only get it by way of gradual process. So many things have gone wrong. People are hungry. 
the, people, the same people who are hungry will not agree to go to farm. People are hungry, but they will not agree to go to food. So, uh, the people, are, people walk naked, but they will not. They are not prepared. Uh, they are not prepared to, to, to walk their to walk their to wash their dresses clean. So everybody just wants easy life. Life is not easy. You see, nobody is, when you are born, even if you are born great, you must manage greatness. Otherwise, greatness will tumble. Where for the youth, <laughs> let them go back to the drawing board. The youth should go back to the drawing to the drawing board. Because the speed is too much. That's why they can easily crash. Leaders should learn to be patient. If you are treating a patient, a sick person, if he doesn't recover, you don't kill the person. You try another method. You don't, you, if you try one, one method, you try another method. You don't just use the same method all through and through. So that's so the, the, the leaders and the, both the people of now and the people of old. The difference between them is that people of old were more patient. They were more accommodating. They were more tolerant. You see? But people, at, as at now, they, they don't accommodate. They, you don't have love for one another. You don't have respect for one another. If somebody has made it, it becomes a lot. You see, he forgets that tomorrow is another day. Somebody who has not made it should be patient. Because tomorrow is another day. Somebody has, who has made it should not think that it, that is the end of the road. You see? So that's the you, you find, Zeke once said, you find a, van, a moving vehicle. That is a, what you call it, a, it's a mummy wagon. It's a mummy wagon. You see written, you find a mummy wagon written. People, people who are old are old. Then the, the young ones, the young shall grow. It's not a matter of the young must jump. You see, life is gradual. You take life gradual. That's what they must do. The praise and worship ceremony featured choir rendition, cutting of the cake, and cultural displays. The beautiful story was put together by Eunice Emezia for Name Online.